All right, what we're doing today is putting on the uh, Minn Kota jack plate adapter for the uh, Talon 12 foot that we're gonna be adding to this uh, boat here. And uh, first thing you gotta do is determine, you know, where you're gonna mount it. And uh, l after looking at it, it looks like the best place to mount it is, is right here where it's got pre-drilled holes here on the jack plate. So that's the holes that we're gonna use. And uh, we're gonna get going here. This, uh, this jack plate adapter for the talon <clears throat> comes with three separate pieces. The first piece is the part that's going to mount to your to your jack plate and it looks something like this. You're just going to find whichever holes line up the best and that's what we're going to use. And after looking at it, I've determined that the, uh, the, uh, top hole here and the top hole here is what we're going to use to put this together today. The kit comes with some fairly nice hardware, some big stainless steel uh, bolts, nylon nuts, and some uh, real thick heavy duty washers, so we need to make sure that we uh, get that on there good. It also comes with a little anti-seize, you know what stainless steel and uh, salt water do. They, they basically corrode and we just got to make sure that we uh, put some anises on there to make sure that we don't have those problems going down the road. So we'll get that done right now. They do include a little tuba anises in, inside the packet here. So as we get going here, we'll, we'll uh, get that done. I usually just take a little bit of this, put a little line on, on the threads, and as you as you get it down, it will uh, it will move that anise for you as the nylon bolt starts to thread in. Put a little line just like that. Mine has some mount bolts directly behind it. It makes, it makes it a little harder to get to, but you just have to pull it up a little bit to get it out of the way of those, and then it'll be fine. The threading itself does good. these things tightened 
I want to make sure they're still perpendicular there, parallel to the uh, to the transom. So you want to make sure that you get these bolts tightened to about 50 foot pounds. And once we get a pretty good tighten on them, we'll get the torque wrench out and get them to 50 pounds. careful when you're when you're doing this these ribs on these parts are pretty sharp if you make a mistake or slip you can get a torp hand pretty easily there all right now we're going to move on to the next step which is to add the second piece on. And this one we'll have to play with a little bit to make sure that we got it in the right place. We want it to, to be as close to the boat as possible but without being so close that it's going to uh, to hit if you if it bounces a little bit or whatever the case may be. So we'll just slide it into place a couple times here and kind of see where we're at. It looks like that might be a little far away. We want to be parallel to the back of the boat and it's but as close as you can when we get the other piece on here and, and we get the the uh, talon mounted it might be a little close here so we're going to move it one notch and kind of see where that's going to put us here and it looks like it's a looks like that's going to be in a fairly good spot there so We'll slide that down and, it, and we want it to go as high as we can get it on here. So we're going to put it about right there. Again, it comes with some fairly nice stainless steel hardware. We're going to use the scratches. We're going to use up the most hole here. Give this a little room just in case we have to do some adjustments later when we get the talon put on. Again, we got the anti seize. We're going to put some anti seize on there. And I put a little bit of the Loctite on it, on it before we started. Loctite to make sure that it doesn't shimmy shake and fall off the boat. You know, after paying sixteen hundred to two thousand dollars for for these shallow water anchors, you don't want to have it hit the bottom of the uh, bay. second part of this which is the uh, actual talon mounting bracket the talon mounting bracket actually mounts to this this piece of uh, piece of the pie here so what we're going to do is fit it in and again we want to be kind of parallel to the back so Although these do have teeth, if you look at that one, it's I still have quite a bit of space here. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and take that back apart and move it 
just a little bit. I think I can get a teeth or two, and I can compensate it with this piece here. So we're going to do that right away. And all those things have teeth. You still have to remove everything and slide them apart. It's not like uh, some of the other adjustable brackets where you loosen the bolt and then you get it where you want it and then you tighten the bolt up. It does not slide inside there, even though it does have those, those teeth. So you actually have to take them all the way apart to uh, get any kind of adjustment on them. So we're going to adjust it one here and maybe even two struts here first. Let's see and looking at it, I still have plenty of space, plenty of clearance for a rope or whatever in case I need back there. So that's going to work out perfectly for me. I'll just put one of these bolts in for now. And I'll test fit this other piece one more time. going to be darn near perfect so that's what we're going to go with there so we'll bolt that on as well go from there and we'll put some anisees on there to make sure we don't have any corrosion get that screwed up bolts in here. I always like to have the nuts and the bolts on the inside just in case you uh, are back here way fishing or whatever case it may be you don't want to bump up against them but you got to also make sure that you don't have uh, that bolt sticking out too far where it's going to hit the uh, back of the boat there. You don't want any gel coat issues. hiding from me, doesn't want me to put it on. So once we get all, all this put back together, we'll come back and uh, get it all torqued down to 50. To make sure that we have what we need as far as tightness on everything. left so I'll take it and put some in there before I get it all tightened up and uh, that way if I ever do have to take it off I'll actually be able to take it off and we'll go from there make sure that you have the washers on both sides it looks like when I took it apart I laid one up there and definitely don't want to be without it. Use a basically takes a three quarter socket and three quarter wrench. I mean if you've got two three quarter wrenches you can get it done with that, but it works better just to have a backup with Three quarter inch and then get your three quarter socket and knock it out. 